All right, welcome back to the shop. So I got a quick video today on the, the iCube Edition headlights on the uh, M1161, M1163 Growler. So they changed the headlights over when they did the iCube update. In fact, here's what the old ones look like. They were a halogen. They took a standard off the shelf bulb. These are really good lights. And see how they're recessed so you don't run into tree branches and break them and stuff. When they did the iCube update, they decided to put these hella, well, they say they're dial, dial light is the name brand on here, but um, I don't know if they're made by Hella or if it's just the brackets, but these adapter or the adjuster um, sockets here, they're made out of plastic and those are sold by Hella. And they're really expensive. They're not cheap at all. I think it's, I think I paid like 45 bucks for like a set of four of those um, when I bought a set a couple of years ago. But after changing one set and seeing how crappy they were after I changed them, um, I actually broke one while I was installing it. I came up with a way better solution to fix these. Um, here's what they look like when they start breaking. All right, that one's still intact, but somebody took and put tie wire all around that to try to rescue it. Um, look at this one. See how it's just look at that, it just breaks off. They're just they're just not very good. Um, so I have a way better solution. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to how to remove the headlight assembly, this whole assembly that it mounts to, and then I'll show you what I do to upgrade these to make a a pretty much bulletproof adjuster, a really simple adjuster that works way better. So uh, yeah, here it goes. All right, so first off, these are riveted in. So there's two rivets here, and then you have to open the hood and then there's some rivets. Uh, I think the end ones have one rivet inside on the bottom, and then the inner headlight will have two on the bottom. Uh, we'll see that when we get to it, since we've got the hood open. Get a better. A bit. Yeah, there we go. So you just get a, I don't know, what is it, about a quarter inch drill bit. Drill the tops of the rivets off. Look how fast that went compared to that step bit. Okay, then we gotta open the hood up. I'm gonna get that latch. All right, so then you see right in here, here's the hinge, and then there's the rivet right here. And that's the third rivet for this outer light. And then the inner light's gonna have uh, a rivet here, and then a rivet here, as well as the two on the top. So these can be kind of a pain in the butt to drill out. Um, I'll show you another way to do it in just a second here. All right, to get to this one that's hidden back inside here, it's hard to get to because the air cleaner assembly's here. So I just, I have this 90 degree adapter for my drill bit. You have to have a drill with a hex on it, so I'm going to have to use a step bit. Um, but at least you can get in here. And drill it out. It's that simple. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. Just punch those out. And then this assembly comes out. Should have unplugged that when I had the hood open. Let me get this stuff off the hood now. You just unplug this Deutz connector right here, and then you can just slide the whole assembly right out. And then, if you see what see what these are, they're kind of a weird screw. It's got like a round button head on one side, and then they have this uh, hex and screwdriver on the other side. So I think in some some applications like it's made so you can adjust it from that the back side or you can adjust it from the front side but we're going to get rid of the screw altogether. Um, I think this might unscrew from here but I have a quicker way to get those off and I'll show you that in just a second here. I have a small pair of bolt cutters that I usually use for this but they're they're not in the shop right now so I'll just grab these piano wire cutters and just cut that off like that. And then we'll just get the, the drill driver, get a Phillips bit on there, and we'll just run these screws right out. Let's get around that plastic. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we have those out. All right, so what I do to replace it, I've got these screws. I had one grade of stainless steel screws and I had problems with them galding on the nuts. Um, you wouldn't be able to screw it on halfway and they would just seize up on there. So I bought a different screw and I honestly, I can't tell you what grade of stainless it is, uh, but you just have to be careful of that. It, you might even be better just buying like a uh, galvanized screw or something like that. So you put that washer on that side, put that washer on that side, and then I'm gonna run this lock nut all the way up against here to where it's not tight, but it's just there. So it's so the screw can't move either way. So it's held, holding it captive. And we're gonna do that to all three. And then these screws, we're gonna run them into the, into the light where these old screws went in. And you just wanna run it kind of slow because with the stainless, you gotta go slow, otherwise it will gold for sure. All right, so here's an easier way to do it. Just get a deep socket and an Allen wrench on the other end. Oops, okay. go the right direction, oh, that helps. Let's see how that is. Yeah, it's good enough, so you can still turn it, but it's not too tight. But you don't want it jiggling around, you don't want it loose. So now that we have all three of those mounted in there, I'll take the light and we're gonna figure out which way this goes. Put your hood down. This sits like this. And we want the light up, yeah, up like that. So these are the three holes that we want. Let's see if we can get them all started. Run these in, you have to run them evenly. You have to go like back and forth from to each one. Go just about a half inch at a time. See, get that started again. And we'll run those in. See how far this light's sticking out? It's probably about three quarters of an inch. We'll run this one in to match it. That's close enough for now. And we can adjust it, you know, more when we adjust the headlight after it's all done. So now we just put this back in here, we plug the uh, electrical back in. I've got to knock that rivet out all the way. And then we'll just rivet this back in and that's then we'll be done. All right, so we just feed the uh, pigtail in there. Slide this in, make sure that it's, you know, going inside up there at the bottom. And then at the top, just put a rivet in. Either use uh, aluminum or stainless steel. Um, I, I'm using aluminum because this is aluminum, this is, uh, this is aluminum too as well, I think. And um, there's no reason to use stainless steel because they're really hard to pop the rivets in with it. But you definitely don't want to use steel because you don't want the rivets to rust. And the size rivet I'm using is, it's a 3 16 rivet, or half inch long 3 16 rivet. All right, so I had to really fight this one to get it lined up. That's why I turned the camera off for a minute. So I'd recommend putting this bottom one in first and then doing the top ones because it's easier to work from the top ones than it is to work on this bottom one. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. And then we'll plug this Deutz connector back in. All right, then we'll close the hood back around and tell me if that doesn't look better than this and these won't break 
Uh, they're so easy to adjust. You just get an Allen wrench in there, or if you do a Phillips or whatever you do, um, or Torx, if you can find those, and you can just adjust the light. It's real simple. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you guys. Uh, please hit that like button and uh, please comment if you have anything constructive to say or any questions uh, It really helps me out if you guys comment and I always do try to answer so uh, please anyways hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching And drill it out it's that simple so this one's made by DeWalt. It's pretty tough. Um, it's a good one. So shout out to my boys at DeWalt. Thank you. <laughs> you think I'm not editing that out? <laughs>